Wait, which one is this? This is 127. <laughs> All right. You're a such What's a dick. Guys, welcome to episode 127 <laughs> of the Monday Night Wars. I'm Chad Talks, and joining me, as always, is J-Mac Gaming. This is what I meant, guys. This guy fucking sucks. <laughs> Ruins the spots. Ruins the spots. And then fudges up on the intro. Listen, I listen. if I say the same things over and over again, it gets boring. You have to switch it up. You, have you watched your shows? <laughs> oh. Ah, uh, Scott Hall coming Ash again. I hope everybody on your roster tours are indomitable. Yeah, me too. Let's run the show, boys. This is right. WWF in your house. Not going to say anything because I don't want to blow the spot. Yeah, I don't want to pretend whatever Chad said in the first 30 seconds of the last night show never happened. Okay. And we'll go into this. We have the opening show where oh, Donald shit. Trump welcomes the crowd to the Trump Tower. I honestly wasn't expecting that to happen. And Donald Trump welcomes the crowd here to the Trump Tower arena here in the tri-state area. We're going to make the world title great again. This world title match is going to be huge. <laughs> You may have heard that nah, so and so was hurt nah, for some nah, time. Nah, show that's that had decent wrestling, but a little heat. <laughs> Mosh injures himself once again, but gets a win. That's correct. Killing himself <laughs> for the wins. Oh no, knee ligament damage. See, are you happy, right? Are you happy? This is what happens this when we push Mosh. This is all Richard, Richard Wright's this, fault. This is what happens when we push Mosh. He hurts himself. I hope you're happy. Uh. Jared Briscoe's pretty happy about it. <laughs> yeah, fuck him. I don't need to book that sorry bitch again. <laughs> All right, and we move on to the next uh, match of the pre-show and a pre-show bout that had decent wrestling. Not much heat. Blackman and Merrow pin Snow Gun Inc. when Merrow gets a win with a shooting star press. Jesus. Any Mark Merrow experts in the uh, in the video watching this? Does, did he really do a shooting star press? Because that's really <laughs> impressive. You let me know. All right, we move on to the opening. Nope, I lied to you all in about the head of subpar wrestling. <laughs> I and little heat. That. Sultan gets the win over the Midnight Cannonball. Mark Henry with a big, 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 big splash. Chad, why'd you book this? Uh, just because I wanted to see two big dudes go at it. Yeah. In typical WWF fashion. All right, let's move on to the opening angle. Where Triple H walks out. He doesn't walk out. He... He's in crutches. <laughs> he crutches is out. He has a microphone and says, Last Monday night, uh, I was at a tag team match. Uh, and I, I what, did he, what did he do? Tore his abdominal? Yeah, I tore, tore my abdominal. Well. I don't know why he's in crutches then, but whatever. A sling. His shoulder's in a sling. Yeah, I don't know why he was in. He's in crutches. Just He's whatever. in a wheelchair. <laughs> whatever, yeah. He's in the Batista wheelchair. You want me to quit? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> and um, doctors told me I'm gonna be out for uh for a long time. Uh, Vince, Vince wanted uh, me to keep the belt, and I said no. Uh, he wanted me to give the belt to uh, DX member Ken Shamrock, uh, and I, I told him no. Uh, I, I want. I don't want to come back. In. Uh, fight one of my DX members to get that belt back. I'm going to let one of the, uh... There was already a number one contender match tonight, uh... And I, I told Vince to make that match for the world title. And Vince is like, well, what about Stasiak, damn it? The people <laughs> love Stasiak. I can't stand that cockroach of a human being <laughs> man. he makes me want to stazy yak he wants <laughs> and I'm like uh, put him in the match to uh, he's not gonna win he sucks anyway uh. so now that match will be a triple threat uh, Stasiak Austin White for the world heavyweight championship and Austin White Stasiak whoever wins that match, uh, I'm coming for that belt. And mark my words, that'll be the last thing. I'll do whatever I can and whatever I have to do to win that belt. The quickest it'll take. I'll be back soon, guys. Thank you. 
kind of degeneration next song plays break it down and he leaves break the ring down. so triple h vacates the title oh what a sad time In six days he gets hurt before the fucking big Ugh. let's just move on to the next segment where we have a rematch from last monday night raw where the undertaker takes on bam bam and he pins him once again with the choke slam in 11:39. But this time, Paul Bear is out there with him, right? Right. And he um, he's got that thing in his ha- in his hands, and he and he takes the towel off, and it's an urn. And he's controlling the Undertaker with that urn. The Undertaker seems interested. He seems like he's controlled, mind controlled with that urn. So, what I wonder, I wonder. Wonder what's 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 so important about that urn? What's that? What's his story? What's his? What's the urn story? What's the urn? I would like to get an interview with that urn. <laughs> I'm yearning. Hey, it's the... Kevin Kelly backstage. We got an interview with the urn. <laughs> he's teaming with interview. he's teaming with Al Snow's head. <laughs> the urn's teaming with Jerry Lawler tonight. Oh my God! And we start off the next match in a decent match. The New Age Outlaws get the win over Vampiro and. Vampire Warrior in 11:56 with the Gunslinger by Billy Gunn. Um, yeah, just didn't think it was time to pull the trigger on the Brood getting a big win over the New Age Outlaws. But then after the match, they celebrate like all good teams and like all good as people. is tradition. As is tradition here in WWF, you celebrate after your damn win. You're you happy. celebrate, damn it! <laughs> we move on to the light heavyweight title match. And that popped it at decent wrestling and not much heat. Rob Van Dam was not eligible to fight for the light heavyweight title. <laughs> but he did win, and we're just going to give him the belt anyway, boys. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just up the weight limit for it. Who cares? Uh, Rob Van Dam wins with a frog splash. This was a great match. <laughs> but for fuck's sake, <laughs> this bra, this this sucks. <laughs> this is not going my way anymore, guys. I hope this is not. I hope this isn't a sign of things to come for the other paper. Mosh is hurt. RVD <laughs> can't. He's a big fat boy. <laughs> <laughs> because he needs to lay off the weed. And then they celebrate. I titled it "This Guy Retains," so it would spoil. I would. It would. You would be like, "Oh, Kid Cash wins." Nope, he doesn't. Nope. <laughs> they celebrate. Whatever. We move on to the next match. <laughs> when, you lose, when you lose the weight in one night, you'll have this title. <laughs> and about the night, great wrestling and good. He can shamrock. Proves why he is the, the, the ultimate machine here. Makes Kurt Angle tap out once again in 1610 with that dreaded shamrock ankle lock. <laughs> he just got shamrocked. And then after the match, shamrock, <laughs> he celebrates. He looks good after that match. Shamrock's got to be in the title contention, even with Triple H out. You got to think, right? I would say so. I would say he is now the guy in DX to get a title. Yeah. We'll see how this goes after uh, this pay-per-view. Who knows? We move on to the next match. That only got to be in about that had good wrestling and good heat. or It had neither. It just isn't a good match. Jeff Jarrett taps on Biff with that Ric Flair figure four ankle lock. Woo! Jeff Jarrett continuing to show his dominance and continuing to show why he is probably the best European champion so far. The save makes this defense number three. Another B. Until Mosh gets a hold of him. Until Mosh, if he ever gets injury free. (laughs) But then after the match, Jeff Jarrett, he sings to the crowd. He's got the guitar. He's got that new one that Biff gave him. It's all oiled up and everything. So what does that mean for Biff? Biff, two straight title losses. So, you know, Biff, there's no way he's going to be in the title hunt anymore, right? I, I would think not. I would but think. I don't want to blow the spot. We move on to the next match, <laughs> which is the tag team title match. And about that, a great wrestling and a decent reaction for the crowd. Edge and Christian pin D'Lo and Farouk when Edge... Uses the pay-per-view move only, the Leaping DDT. <laughs> Bust out the Leaping DDT for the important matches. <laughs> um, Edge and Christian make this defense number three. Uh, look at Edge and Christian, 94 and 98, Ingram. <laughs> they fucking, they go all out on these pay-per-views, man. 
<laughs> yeah, they do. It's unbelievable. <laughs> if I ever get a tag team that's at, like even as close as over, this is going to be like a hundred. <laughs> and then they celebrate in the ring. Oh, Ninety-one, man. These they, do a, they do a they do a pose off. They do the five-second pose off with the belts. <laughs> We move on to what I think is, yes, it is the world title match. It's a triple threat match. Stone Cold, Paul White, and Sean Stasiak. Chad, before, Chad has no idea who wins. I refuse to let him know any of my, more, any of my plans anymore. Chad, <laughs> predict who wins this world title match. You know, I... I think the logical choice would be Stone Cold, but I'm going to predict that you pulled the trigger and gave it to Stasiak. Okay, let's find out. Next segment. In a superb match, a 96. Jesus. Steve Austin pins Paul White with the stunner, and he wins the WWF World well, there you go. Heavyweight Championship. Sean Stasiak is in a 96 match. <laughs> Match of the Year candidate. Match of the Year candidate featuring Wrestler of the Year candidate, Sean Stasiak. Um, speaking of which, we should probably go over um, the slamming gimmick right after. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll talk off camera. Yes. So this match happens. Steve Austin is the new world heavyweight champion. <laughs> and Steve Austin breaks his neck. <laughs> And then he celebrates after the match. Hell yeah! Drinks a lot of beer. The beer, the, the canvas is just covered in beer now. But we move on to the main event. A fatal four-way match. That would have that match would have been so good if it was the main event. For the number one, or for the Intercontinental belt, <laughs> Owen Hart, Mick Foley, Kane, and Shawn Michaels. In a 96 match, an exceptional match, wow. Owen Hart gets the win over Kane. Oh, man, you Owen. cheeky bastard. I bamboozled you. Owen Hart makes this defense number four of the Intercontinental title. A hell of a match. A hell of a two last matches here. So even though yeah. I had a big negative with with um, Triple H getting hurt for a long bit, Owen Hart. And Stone Cold, and these guys, these seven guys in the last main events, really stepped up, really showed why WWF is the, the dominant show lately. Well, let's not get carried away and here. They end the show with a 92 when he celebrates and ends the show with a 96 overall Jesus. show. I think that may be the best show of our save for either one of us. Uh, well, at least until Starcade. Well, we'll see. I am really, I, am, I have high hopes for Starcade. I really think oh, thanks, brother. I think that will be a good high 90, mid 90 show, but I don't I I'm going to be honest, Chad. I don't think it's going to pull a 96 from from you. Well, we'll have to wait and see. A 93, a 94, I think. And and I will say to be quite honest with you that that did phenomenally better than I thought it was going to do. This show <laughs> I thought was going to suck. But but from probably Shamrock angle on, man, this was just a hell of a show. Even RVD, Kid Cash outside, had a 72. Like, everything went right, except for Donald Trump today. Yeah, oh, Mosh got hurt, too, so that's a thing. So, um, Sean Stasiak, great performance. Edge, he had a 98. I gotta give you something. Owen Hart, I'm actually gonna take Stasiak out and give it to... I was gonna say, you gotta give it to Austin. There we go, there we go, and there we go. That was episode 120, oh boy, oh boy, uh, 120, six I think, seven, yeah, 127, six, seven. all right, we're getting, I just, oof, I'm, everything's just blending in together now, um, <laughs> leave a like if you liked it, leave a comment if you didn't like it, tell me what I should have done differently, or, you know, anything else, um, we, probably after this next episode, we'll get one up where our slammies so we can pick the show of the year. I think we're going to do show of the year, wrestler of the year, tag team of the year, and then company. And rookie. And rookie. Okay. Yeah, right. I'm done with that. And I'm going to think of, like, guys who should be in there for each show. And you can think of yours for yours. 
Okay. And we will put that up. I guess I'll just start throwing the straw poll. Well, people won't see this video for months. Whatever. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you for episode 128, the big Star K 1998. See you. It's gonna be. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be my biggest show of the year.